Auto Line at CES is brought to you by ETAS, Gentex, Intrepid Control Systems, Magna, and by Yazaki Innovations. Jeff Hempel is the, the CTO of Shuffler, and Jeff, what are we looking at here? This is quite the contraption you've got. Yeah, this is actually the biggest uh, piece of automotive hardware Scheffler will ever produce, or has ever produced, I guess. So this is a beam e-axle, which is what is in almost every pickup truck and bigger SUVs. Um, so it's very important to the U.S. market, and as we electrify all those vehicles, it's obviously an electric axle. So we can use the electric motor to make a, either a through-the-road hybrid vehicle or um, a fully electric uh, vehicle, depending on the size of the battery pack you put in. So what we've done here is actually apply some of our sheet metal stamping background. So you can see this load-bearing part of the axle. It's a banjo style um, with a couple of sheet metal stampings welded together there. And that bears all the load of the truck. And then we're able to separate that load from the housing um, that holds the electric motor here and the power electronics and the gear train. So that provides all the torque into the differential, um, but it doesn't have to bear the bending loads of the, of the pickup truck. So with that design, we were able to save 50 kilograms, which is a huge weight savings. Um, we're very happy with that. Also have some packaging and, and some cost uh, uh, benefits there. So it'll be uh, in production in a couple of years here. And we're uh, super happy to keep our presses rolling even in the age of electrification. All right, this is our steer by wire demonstrator. Um, so some new technology as we get more and more into autonomous vehicles becomes more and more important um, that they can steer themselves, obviously. Um, and also as we get into electric vehicles, the uh, typical configuration of an electric vehicle with a battery pack between the wheels results in a longer wheelbase. And that means the vehicle is harder to turn, harder to park. So we've introduced a rear steer actuator, um, and that actually can turn the back wheels, depending on the application, 10 or 20 degrees. Not a whole lot, but it makes it much easier to park the vehicle and also gives you some high speed advantages in terms of a lane change. You're moving a little bit more sideways than you are steering the vehicle, if you will. So that's the rear steer portion. Then if we come up to the front of the vehicle here, we can see the front uh, steering actuator or the road wheel actuator. Um, so obviously that's doing the, the much bigger steering angle of the front wheels. Um, it's actually not that big, but there's some intellectual property there under that black cover. <laughs> So it, it packages better than it looks like here. Um, so that gets you the steering, but then you're gonna need to be able to feel like you're driving the car if you're, if you're actually steering. Um, so over here we have a hand wheel actually. So this has actually not got a steering column behind it, but it has a combination of a small electric motor and a friction brake. And between those two, uh, we were able to simulate the feel as if you were driving. And of course, because it's not mechanically connected, you can also choose different driving modes. So if you want to feel like you're in a Formula One car, you can make plus minus 90 be the whole steering angle, or you can have a much more conventional where two or three revolutions of the wheel do the steering angle. And of course, you can change the torque that you feel and so on. So. You can kind of select a sport or a conventional mode, depending on what your driving uh, desire is. Okay, what do we have here? Well, this is a, a partner customer of ours called Fly Now. It's a personal flying device. Um, our portion of it is the electric motor that you can see up there um, that would drive the two rotors. So the rotors counter rotate, so you don't need a tail rotor. Um, and so that motor is actually two electric motors in one see it a little close up here um, so obviously the cooling around the outside um, inside two electric motors 26 kilowatts each is enough to fly you around um, about 100 kilometers an hour with a 50 kilometer range and it's four times redundant so you're very 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 unlikely to fall out of the sky um, so they hope to have that flying packages around in 2025 um, and people around in 2028 um, so we're pretty happy with our electric motor there. 
fantastic power density. Actually comes from our background making the electric motors for the Formula E racing series. Um, so very lightweight, um, obviously important while you're trying to fly yourself around there. And, and Jeff, what are we looking at here? Okay, here we're looking at our ride height adjustment system. So we've outfitted this uh, Lightning with four actuators that can actually raise and lower the vehicle 40 millimeters. So you can see the electric motor on the actuator under the green coil spring there. Um, so it actually just lifts the spring seat up and down. And uh, for an electric vehicle, that gives, uh, it gives several advantages, but the most important one is on the highway, when you lower the height of the vehicle 40 millimeters, um, depending on what vehicle you started off with, you could get two to 5% better range at highway speed. So very important in this pickup truck market where the vehicles have very large frontal area. Um, so you can really get some uh, benefit on the, on the range, either save some money on your battery pack or offer the consumer a longer range. Um, so we can see the inside of it here. Um, so it's, it's basically a hollow ball screw here. And then we have a two-stage spur gear arrangement. So this small electric motor, less than two inches in diameter, is lifting and lowering a fourth of the weight of the truck. So it's pretty remarkable, small uh, little device there. Um, fairly affordable, um, no maintenance required. Um, so we're seeing a lot of interest in that as, as we electrify these larger vehicles. Well, Jeff, I know you've got a lot more on display here, but thanks so much for showing us the highlights. Yeah, thanks for coming by.